everyone, this is Carlos. Talk about computer-aided design. For me, it has been decades since I started to use it. CAD has always been closely related to our engineering studies. But the world keeps changing. CNC machines have become more popular. And the emergence of 3D printers. It seems that more people want to learn CAD software. My students, friends, colleagues, and even my boss have asked me about the use of CAD. So, I made some videos before to introduce and demonstrate the use of CAD. Whether on YouTube or watermelon video, have over a thousand views. So, I think it is necessary to make the second episode teach you to draw more complex objects. Let's get started now. Just a reminder if you like the channel of Carlos the Organ Man. Please click the subscribe in the lower right corner. If you want to be notified of new videos as soon as possible, please click the bell. You are also welcome to add likes and comments. Carlos has used many CAD softwares, including AutoCAD, Inventor, SolidWorks, and Tinkercad that is suitable for children, Fusion 360, which was previously free and now charged, and OnShape, which is free. I can tell you that same techniques has been used for decades. I never learned new softwares. If there's no need to draw complex engineering drawings, you only need to understand some basic concepts. As long as you can master them, these basic concepts are applicable to any CAD softwares. Let's review the teaching on Fusion 360 in the previous episode. I taught you create sketch. Drawing sketches are the basis of all modeling. Then I taught you to extrude on a sketch that is to squeeze into a three-dimensional object. After successfully making the 3D object, if you think there are too many sharp corners, you can use fillet to trim. In some cases, we will use chamfer. The same purpose is to trim sharp corners. Finally, I told you how to use the shell function to hollow out the object. As for how to make holes in the object, it's just repeating sketch and extrude. When you master the above 5 skills, and you want to draw some boxes with rounded corners and holes, there's no difficulty. But in industrial production, the shape of objects are irregular. For example, products made by lathes, the object rotates on the axis, and the tool is cutting a sign, and resulting in this shape. But how to draw on Fusion 360? Let's open Fusion 360 normally. As indicated in the official web page, if you use the free version, many functions will be cut. But to add the level we use, it's still workable. Create a sketch normally. Choose a plane. To make a lathe object, you must first draw the outline, just like the glass. First draw a 35mm straight line. Then connect with curve. You can switch between line and spline. Double click the mouse when you finish a line. When drawing such objects, you must have a center line. When you finish the drawing, select Revolve in the Create menu. Profile selected, select center line as axis, then press OK. The glass is completed with a flick of your fingers. Is it easy? After this, we have to learn some new techniques. You see, there are many functions under Create. We have learned Extrude. We also learned Revolve. We will learn two more in this lesson. They are Sweep and Locked. Like the handle of this umbrella. Of course, this handle is carved with wood. 
but you can also use metal to extrude along the path. Two planes are used for modeling such objects. First draw the claw section in the top wheel, in this case, it is a circle, 20 mm diameter, finish sketch, then turn to another wheel, which is the front wheel. In this wheel, we have to draw a path. As an inverted J letter, the path is composed of straight lines and curves. The neck of the umbrella handle is not a spline curve, it's just a semicircle. We can do it with the line button. About 60 mm length. Pull at this point to draw a semicircle. Here you can also see the diameter of the semicircle. Double click and press finish sketch. Now for create, we we'll use swoop. Choose the circle for profile. Choose the center line as path. Press OK to complete. If you think the end is not smooth enough, you can use fillet to trim it. The umbrella handle is modeled like this. Very simple also. The last trick today should be more difficult. Everyone knows that Carlos makes computer organs and I also make a hoo. Let's see the shape of an Erbo's head. This head is a bit like Shanghai Erhu. It also looks a bit like Shoujiao Erhu. Actually, it is designed by Carlos. How to deal with this irregular shape? By the way, even Swip can't do it this time. We have to use Loft because Loft can follow the track and the claw sections can keep changing. We start to sketch. We first draw a square on the plane. This square is the middle part of the Erhu pole. But we want the square and the circles to be concentric. So we can't use two point rectangle. We use center rectangle. Draw at this point. 22 times 22 is the standard of Erhu. After rising 15 mm, this square will gradually become a circle. The original three planes are not enough. We have to create a new plane. Finish the sketch first. Here is construct offset plane. Offset 15 of the top plane. There is a new plane above the square. Use this plane to draw. This time draw a circle. The diameter of the circle is 17. Now see the relationship between the two claw sections. Finish this sketch. Because the head of the Erhu is also a path, select the front wheel as before. Draw a path. This path is a bit irregular. Use spline to draw as you like. The circle remains unchanged at this position. Then change gradually. Create another plane. This time we use construct plane along path. Draw a circle with a diameter of 17 here. What will happen next? Continue to plane along path. Should not change too much. 
draw a bigger circle. For example, diameter 18. When it reaches the top position, it suddenly changes into an ellipse. After finishing the sketch, construct plane along path again. But this plane angle is wrong. I want the plane to be slightly inclined. I draw a straight line on the plane. This line is a construction line, so we change it into construction line. Finish sketch. Use this construction line to create a plane at angle. Set an angle at will. The angle of the head of the earth hoop is about 38 degrees. As you like. Here we need to draw an ellipse. We create sketch. Set ellipse in create about this position. Draw an ellipse of length 50. You can observe whether it looks good. If it's not good looking, then modify it. You can even modify it after completion. We choose create locked. Add five sketches to the profile. I don't think it looks good. I will continue to modify. This kind of design has deviated from industrial drawing. A bit artistic. How it looks like depends on how much effort and time you put in. For example, add a few more planes and carefully tune each sketch. This time we use a total of six planes. The outlook has improved a lot. Besides extras that I have taught before, today I also teach you revolve, sweep, and locked. Carlos recommends learning CAD to start by drawing objects around, using all the skills you have learned. I believe you can do it. If you like my video, please subscribe, like, and share.